We just received a mysterious package and I actually have no idea what is inside. This honestly reminds me of that moment at the end of the movie Seven. It's like a murder mystery about the seven deadly sins. And at the end he's holding a box with his wife's head inside of it. And he's like, What's in the box? What's in the box? I really like this fabric, whatever it is. Nick and Julia. Look at the detail. Oh. Nick and Julia, can't wait to spend my weird 30th birthday with you guys. From Kendra. We're actually going to Mexico City in a couple of days for our friend's birthday and we're going with a group of friends. Um, so this must be from her. So Kendra is like one of the most creative, artsy people that I know and I just cannot get over this. She basically, I guess, sent everyone who's going on the trip a couple of things. This is the Louis Vuitton version of the City Guide. So cool. And this little book of games, I guess. And some rose marzipan Mexican candy. And just a bunch of like little Mexican inspired decorative things. Also, there's a company called Soap Rocks and they make soaps that look like gemstones. And I guess we each got a couple of these. Like how cool is that? And everything was wrapped in these fabrics, which I am so obsessed with. Definitely gonna have to reuse these. Kendra will probably never see this video, but thank you. Speaking of Kendra, we are actually going over to her house tonight for a pre-birthday celebration. So I actually went out a little bit earlier to buy her a birthday gift. Looking for a plant for my friend for her birthday. Every time I come here, it is seriously like putting a heroin addict in a room full of heroin. Pretty much just wanna buy everything. This is like the indoor plant section. So I went to my favorite nursery and picked out a plant for her. Whenever I buy a plant, whether it's for myself or for somebody else as a gift, the first thing I always do is research the toxicity of it to cats and dogs, um, especially if I'm giving it as a gift and that person has domestic animals. The worst way for your animal to die is by ingesting part of a plant that you bought for your house that you did not know was toxic. If you go to the ASPCA website, um, there is a list of almost all common household plants and it tells you whether or not they are toxic to animals. And I will put that link in the description box below because a lot of you guys are always asking me about that. And the best part about this plant is that it is non-toxic to dogs and to cats, um, which is perfect because Kendra has dogs and cats. This plant is actually so incredibly unique looking. I have never actually seen a plant like this, but I have had plants in the same family, Calathea, Calathea. So I'm about to head over to Kendra's house, and this is my little birthday contribution. I also added one of these homemade candles that I made. This one is made with coconut wax and orange essential oil. Totally all natural and non-toxic. You guys can check out my tutorial on these if you wanna learn how to make them yourselves at home. I think that they make really nice gifts. So added that and then I made her a little homemade card. In my opinion, the best gifts are always the homemade ones. I don't think you have to spend a ton of money to give somebody a really nice gift. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kendra. And Asher. And Asher. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Oh, these are sunflowers. I like it. Wait, will you put a hat on him? He's so cute. I really wanted to get a picture of him with the kid. That's all we needed. Ciroc <laughs> <laughs> boys. Hey Jordan, what's my favorite flavor of Ciroc? Yes! <laughs> what's my least favorite flavor? You should know this. Yes! 
for those of you guys who don't know, big fan of Ciroc. Ciroc so boy. is Jordan. Not a huge drinker, but Kendra and Asher keep Ciroc in their freezer for when we come over. Cheers. Cheers. That that tastes rougher than usual. Really? You're sitting in bed and you're watching like an animated movie with animals and Hannah Lee loves seeing animals on TV. Hannah Lee. I think we are going to call it a night. Um, I hope you guys are all having a really good night. And I will see you in my next video. And I'll talk to you guys then. <laughs> Thank you.